A blessed day everyone, it's me again, Teacher Lumaban, and if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time we will discuss Chapter 14, Public Service Cooperatives of the Republic Act No. 9520, also known as an act amending the Cooperative Code of the Philippines to be known as the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Republic of the Philippines Congress of the Philippines Metro Manila 14th Congress Second Regular Session Begun and held in Metro Manila, on Monday, the 28th day of July, 2008 Republic Act No. 9520 an act amending the Cooperative Code of the Philippines to be known as the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the Philippines in Congress assembled. Section 14. Articles 110, 111, 112, 113 and 114 of Chapter 14 on special provisions relating to credit cooperative of this code are hereby transferred to another chapter. Chapter 14 as amended shall now read, as follows. Chapter 14. Public Service Cooperatives. Article 109. Definition and Coverage. A public service cooperative, within the meaning of this code, is one organized to render public services as authorized under a franchise or certificate of public convenience and necessity duly issued by the appropriate government agency. Such services may include the following. 1. Power generation, transmission, and slash or distribution. 2. Ice plants and cold storage services. 3. Communication services including telephone, telegraph, and communications. 4. Land and sea transportation cooperatives for passenger and slash or cargo. Transport cooperatives organized under the provisions of Executive Order No. 898, Series of 1983, shall be governed by this chapter. 5 public markets, slaughterhouses, and other similar services, and 6. Such other types of public services as may be engaged in by any cooperative. Such cooperative shall be primarily governed by this chapter and the general provisions of this code insofar as they may be applicable unless they are inconsistent herewith. Article 110. Registration Requirements. Unless otherwise provided in this code, no public service cooperative shall be registered unless it satisfies the following requirements. 1. Its articles of cooperation and bylaws provide for the membership of the users and slash or producers of the service of such cooperatives, and 2. Such other requirements as may be imposed by the other pertinent government agencies concerned. In case there are two, two or more applicants for the same public service franchise or certificate of public convenience and necessity, all things being equal, preference shall be given to a public service cooperative. Article 111. Regulation of Public Service Cooperatives. 1. The internal affairs of public service cooperatives such as the rights and privileges of members, the rules and procedures for meetings of the General Assembly, Board of Directors and Committees, for the election and qualifications of officers, directors, and committee members, allocation and distribution of surpluses, and all other matters relating to their internal affairs shall be governed by this code. 2. 
all matters relating to the franchise or certificate of public convenience and necessity of public service cooperatives such as capitalization and investment requirements, equipment and facilities, frequencies, rate fixing and such other matters affecting their public service operations shall be governed by the proper government agency concerned. 3. The authority and the proper government agency concerned shall jointly issue the necessary rules and regulations to implement this chapter. 4. The authority shall establish a committee for the monitoring of transportation service cooperatives composed of representatives from the authority, the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, LTFRB, the Land Transportation Office, LTO, Office of Transport Cooperatives, OTC, other concerned government agencies, as may be necessary, and the National Federation of Transportation Cooperatives. A local monitoring committee shall likewise be established at the extension offices of the authority to facilitate the monitoring of transportation cooperatives. Article 112. Engagement in Allied Business by Transportation Service Cooperatives. Subject to pertinent national laws and local ordinances, primary transportation service cooperatives including secondary and tertiary federation of cooperatives may engage in a business related to transportation service, including but not limited to 1. Importation, distribution and marketing of petroleum products in accordance with existing laws. 2. Operation of gasoline stations and transportation service centers. 3. Importation, distribution, and marketing of spare parts and supplies, and 4. Marketing of vehicle-slash-driver's insurance policies. Article 113. Renewal of Franchise and Vehicle Registration. Renewals of franchise and vehicle registration shall be granted to transportation service cooperatives, provided, that such cooperative presents a certificate of good standing issued by the authority, OTC, and the local government unit concerned as proof that it has continuously provided the required public transportation services. The authority, in consultation with the concerned government agencies and cooperative sector, shall issue appropriate rules and regulations pertaining to the provisions of this chapter. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hope you learned something on our topic about Chapter 14, Public Service Cooperatives of the Republic Act No. 9520, also known as an Act Amending the Cooperative Code of the Philippines to be known as the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Hoping that we meet again in my next blog, and God bless you always.